No, mate. Look at these units. I've been out in a different area where I know these parasols grow uh, earlier on anyway. This is it, the parasol mushroom. And that's what I'm looking for today. We're not going to need many, they're massive, so I'm going to I'm going to take two or three of these and then we're going to go and do a little bit of a cook up and uh, try something a bit different. Look at this one. They do get quite big, but they soon turn. So I don't want to be greedy. I only want to take enough for one meal, so I'm going to leave this here to spread its spores. And, uh, and feed the bugs. And now we're here, and I'm gonna cook them up. That's the ticket. Can't even see me, can you? Just take this off so I completely disappear. Just an head and some arms, look. <laughs> there we are, look. Whew. Welcome to another video. We've been foraging, specifically for these mushrooms, because I knew, I know a patch where they grow, the reason for this video is Oatly reached out to me and said they were doing a campaign. It's the Will It Swap Challenge. They reached out to me and said, would you like to come? Could we sponsor a video and would you be keen to, to get involved? I said, yes, mate, because I've been using Oatly uh, for a long time now. Um, I don't drink cow milk at home, don't drink dairy at home. I haven't done for for a few years now. The Oatly Barista milk is a delight in coffee an absolute delight and if you've not tried it get on board i'm not just saying that because i'm uh, i'm told to say it i genuinely that's what i use and that's why i said yeah of course i'll do it because i rate their product think it's mint and i thought it was a cool little challenge to do to just come out into the woods and use one of their products uh their dairy alternatives and see if i can cook some up so challenge accepted oatly i'll leave links for it Oatly and the hashtags and everything below this video. I can't quite remember everything now that I'm out in the woods But that's as real as it gets and it is we're keeping it real here, and I'm sure Oatly won't mind me doing that <laughs> So what we're gonna do or what I'm gonna try and do is just a really simple dish using these parasol mushrooms and then where I would normally use dairy products We're gonna use Oatly and see if it works if it don't work. I'm keeping it in <laughs> Come on, come on. We've all got nipples for God's sake. Right, <laughs> soz, duh, whatever. Right, let's get a fire going. There's just a top layer and then we're into some pretty solid ground there. So we're not gonna set fire to it. The silky big boy, he's a big boy. So if you find a tree that's just got a couple of bits near to each other you can put in your bit of timber that you're wanting to cut and you can just trap it in there and then cut away or something even just pull it and, and break it off but if not you can just it'll just odd it for you there you go drop that but we're keeping it in because whatever I'm only doing little bits so you don't want to be I don't want to be odding that and hitting it because obviously if I if I come off there <laughs> and digits are off out there so just use a stick where your finger would be my legs are to one side but if I miss that it's going straight into the floor I'm not stood up swinging so it swings and hits me if it if it goes past that it's just eating floor so I can give it give it some beans <laughs> there you go Fire starting method of choice. I picked up some silver birch bark on the way in from some deadfall. Obviously, never clear it. Never, what's that red bit, bit dot there? Look, is that a ghost? Uh, never take it from a live tree, obviously. Take that. And we just scrape the top layer off 
and it'll reveal this sort of peach coloured layer and that's where your oils are and the more time you spend doing this the more chance you've got of getting a flame and getting a flame that'll stick around for a bit so worth putting a bit of time into this bit the birch bark will have these little fissures in it that run this way and I always like to scrape that way because your knife can get caught in a minute it's a bit of a just a little bit of a speed bump also doubles up as a a priest if you want to be knock if you know you catch yourself a hippo or something that needs sparking out all silky boy saws have a 90 degree and it's pretty sharp so you can always use that look slide it down and there you go it's pretty easy and then we'll use these strips that I cut before so you shouldn't lose it really when you get to this stage and you've got enough birch bark and bits of other clobber but what you don't want to do is put your stuff on too soon because you'll just extinguish the flame I mean, to get that so it's roaring a little bit as you can see now look there we go beautiful oh that smell it's so good to be back in woods On really, me Hestras. I love these gloves, man. Hestra and Blumenthal. While my fire dies down a little bit, we'll prep these. Okay, that you can take the skirt off. Way. Hold on, let's see if we can. There you go. How romantic would that be as a wedding ring, though? If you just bring your significant other into into woods and be like, "There you go, will you marry me?" Little. A little mushroom skirt. <laughs> romance, mate, romance. Get some right meaty chunks out of it. There's not much in life that I find as satisfying as um, slicing a mushroom with a decent knife is very satisfying. Big bulbs, big bulbs going in. Give them a smash. Take the little jackets off them. That's a lot of garlic, but I like a lot of garlic. What could I say? There we go. Lodge cast iron pan. I'm just gonna sweat down the garlic. Maybe add a little bit of butter, a little bit of white wine, a little bit of thyme. Uh, and then where I would normally finish it with, you'd normally finish it with like a single cream. I'm using this, the Oatly. Use a single cream, they have double cream, they have all sorts of stuff. And the good thing is, it doesn't go off like normal dairy products. So this is, you're good, you can carry this around in your backpack until next year. <laughs> so I don't use, I don't, what's that little, what's that little ghost thinking about? Just like a ghost, can you see it or is that just me? Just get sidetracked. <laughs> Getting sad, you know what's funny is I've probably sent this video off too early to be to for them to give it like the green light to see if it's alright and look the head brass of early just watching me like do that on a ghost that probably isn't even there. Anyway, you <laughs> if you use your cast iron pans with respect, you won't need to oil them up this like they'll become non-stick naturally through time. Garlic, lots of it. Garlic does have a tendency to go bitter if it's cooked for too long, so I'm gonna get the mushrooms in as well. My spatula that I made, it's just a, a bit of spalted, is it birch or beech? One of the bees. I made it at Spoon Festival, illegally, because you're only allowed to start, you know you should be really carving spoons, but I went rogue, I made me send a spatula. Get some more wood under, oh my word, it smells good, man. Just a little mix I knocked up, it's just pep uh, pepper, salt, uh, sea salt, and a little bit of powdered onion. A little bit of a coating from the local farm store. Look at that, your beauty. Crust. Keep it. Keep crust. Feed that to penguins. Chunky slices. Spot on. Some time from garden. Got to get in there. Look. Not too fussed. It stalks. You can always take them out. White wine. 
If you could smell that, if you could smell that. So let the alcohol cook off on the wine, add our cream and then we're about there. I'm just gonna leave the bread on the side there. In with the Oatly. Wee. Yeah. That smells so good. A little bit more salt and pepper. If you could smell that, you'd be wanting a bit. And that's just how it is. We'll have to work this out, work we, where you can see it. <laughs> oh well. You'll get the idea, won't you? Are you gonna focus just because it yes, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Autumn mate, Autumn, Autumn. Look at that, toasted just to gather up all juice. I've nailed it. I've absolutely nailed it. Get me stalks out. Time stalks. You've you've served your time. Terrible. So hey, this is good. Focusing. Best day ever this, innit? Focusing's working. Eating some foraged mushrooms in the woods. Get that out of shot. Get me tote bag. That's me, uh, my Northern Monk tote bag that I carry my cast iron in. And that's the beauty about living in the UK. Our seasons are so defined. Just near the arse end of the season, so like near the end of summer, you're like, oh, can't wait. Or maybe I could do with a little bit of a autumn. And then when it comes, you're like, yes. Get fire on, get thermal duds on. We're off to carve a pumpkin or a turnip or a swede. And the Oatly, it's like, you can't tell the difference. I obviously raw dog some. It's like silky and it's got that oaty, earthy flavour. So it, it matches perfectly with this. It imparts a better flavour than, than single cream would. I'm not just saying that um, because they're sponsoring the video. I genuinely mean it. Like I've I've been on this stuff for a couple of years now and I can't just drink it. I'm sure it's not good for tits, but... So you can't just be mainlining cream. You can if you want, do what you want. Right, I'm going to enjoy this without talking to you. And then I'm going to show you the... Um, and this is a game changer. The, the barista, Oatly barista stuff. We'll make a nice... Oh, that's delicious, the bread... The bread is toasted, but it's taken on the smoke from the fire. You charge quite a lot of money in a restaurant for this. I'm gonna eat this, and then we'll uh, we'll get a coffee on, and I'll show you the uh, I'll show you how it deals with the coffee. So it's for waffling on this one, but turns out I can't make a video without me waffling because people complain. <laughs> I just prefer it when you just waffle shit. All right, let me be artistic for goodness sake. I ground some beans at home before I came out. Bean head. Let's get it on fire. Get it on top of that. There you go. They even do little ones, they do the, the big ones, yeah big, <laughs> those little mini ones. One it wonders that you can take out into the woods with you again. They last for ages, then you put it in your backpack and away you go. Top tip is what I do, shake it, shake living daylights out of it. It gives you like a, like a creme on the top. Look at that, get out of town. That was the perfect fire too, it's just sort of, Giving me everything it could there. Thank you very much. I already know it's good. It's good coffee. It's good. I'm used to this. Like, I love the flavour of it. And it makes really good lattes as well. Just if you don't know now, you know. Flogging it hard, am I? Don't care. I care. You know, I'm into it. I use it myself. So, I'm happy to tell you about it. Oh, I had a couple of coffees today, so Jitter Juice will be getting me right in. Go, 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 go. <laughs> right, in, right, right in worry bucket. It gets you, doesn't it? Too much jitter juice. <sighs> let's let's get this fire squared away. So I know that is on rock hard ground. 
that is sodden and will be just scattered not in the same place so you can't see it i'll just sort of fan it out so we don't even want to see little burnt bits of timber if we can help it literally leave no trace i've got my layer of soil can you tell i'm a gardener and then all gubbins <laughs> they'll go back on as well you're none the wiser are you where was your fire dead huh? gone leave no trace take knife off you don't want to be going <laughs> accidentally going into a garage or whatever with that unit on and i better not rattle like that all the way out because that'll drive me nuts uh big up oatly I, I mean they I guess I'd faith in me because they just said do just whatever you normally do and do whatever you want to do like cook whatever you want just use our products and they said if it doesn't work just show it show it not working and that'll be the journey and that's the that's keeping it real and so I respect that and I appreciate it and luckily it just went perfectly so like hashtag will it swap yes is the answer to that I don't know what else I'm, supp I'm supposed to say because <laughs> it's been a while since I've read email and I can't remember, so sorry. But you get the idea, I'm into it. I'll leave links and descriptions and everything that is asked of me and everything that I need to put downstairs will be downstairs. So check them out. So yeah, do check them out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be back on with some long distance hiking soon and a little bit more woodland bushcraft. But thanks for sticking with me. Uh, and understanding that sometimes I need to chuck in a little sponsored video here and there. It, it, it massively helps me and I hope you don't mind too much. I send you now but love as always and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Not going that way though, am I? I'm going this way. See you later, love you, bye. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the top. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warding, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars all have gone by by the month. Me, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were warding, I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bars all have gone by by the month.